Hey everyone, welcome back to your 4S Saxony, where we're about to start our golden era. The age of reformation is ending in two months, and so just to make sure that I'm not uh, missing it, I want to start my golden era right now. We're going to get extra morale, our power costs are being reduced, we gain maximum absolutism, and uh, some goods produced as well. Ah oh, man, I really don't know. Goods produced is so good, but it's going to be more... It's going to be better later on. You know what? I know what I just said. I, I think... You know what? I think we're going to actually hold off. We're going to get a golden... Ah, man. No, I want it now. Let's, let's, let's get the golden era now to help us a little bit. If we have it at the very end, we might not be able to use it. So I, I'm going to take it right now. This is fine. Now, I'm actually currently working on a claim on Mecklenburg where um, they are a heretic, so I can declare war on them. And interestingly, well, they have an ally now, but they're being guaranteed by Staten. So I can go to war with Staten, uh, which has a couple of provinces that I have claims on as well. I might not be able to take them, but, um, you know, I can force them to release some provinces and so on and so forth. So, yeah, we've got Dithmarschen, Wismar, uh, Passau, and Trier as heretics in the empire that must be destroyed. I hate that I don't have a Kaz's belly against them. It really sucks. But um, yeah, that's the way it is. Now, we are, we've slowly turned some electors back to us. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's really difficult, actually. Um, Würzburg, can I improve relations? Yes, I can. I have to. Um, Austria is a big contender. Obviously, they have a lot of... Um, diplomatic uh, reputation as well, just like we do. Uh, ba basically, Saxony is uh, Austria light in that regard. Um, so, they are definitely better than we are. We need Diplo ideas in order to uh, compete with them. Uh, I'm fine with losing 100 gold here. That's that's okay. It's not awesome, but I'll take it. And there's Reform Zealots doing their things. Um, recall, you, you're actually not voting for me, though. That's annoying. Ansbach could vote for me. Uh, unlikely, though. A lot of these people don't really like me all that much. It sucks. What you, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Liberate Elector against Nassau. They've got Brandenburg. Interesting. But their independence is guaranteed by Austria. Now, hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? I could go to war with Austria. Well, Austria is currently fighting as well. Man, I don't know what to do. I think with Russia alone... Well, Russia and Sweden together, I can fight the Commonwealth. It's probably a possibility. I don't have Tech 17 right now. I apologize for that. I got a phone call. But anyway, let's move on. Um, we can never have too many men, that's correct. We're actually almost at our manpower cap here. Can we build more? It looks like we have the money. What's our, what's our warp rate? We're getting a lot from France. We can technically build a third army like this, which I think I will do. They're, they're pretty decent. I, I know this is not the best setup. You can have better compositions, but I think for now they work quite well. Um, so let's go ahead and build just a couple more of these guys. Uh, that is, yep, almost enough. 14s, give me... 16. Let's build these infantry first, and we'll see how the rest goes. Recall uh, diplomat here. Man, this is... Oh, this is three votes for me, four for Austria. Yeah, this is not good. Moravia, I need you to... Uh, well, wh what can I do? Steal trade. A good name has been slandered. Should steer trade to us. Let's do that. Tolerance of the true faith will surveil here. Syncretism. I need you to vote for me, man. And what about Bram? Why are you so bad? Why are you not voting for me? Well, I can liberate you. I don't know if I want to. 
I think I, I don't want to. I think I'll leave it the way it is. I can just declare war on, on Brandenburg, really, and remove them. And get someone else elected. Uh, well, put someone else as uh, elector. That's always a possibility. Are you a free city, by the way, Lubeck? Merchant Republic, militarist ruler. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. You would make for a fine free city. Austria wants military access. Yeah, I think we're going to be at odds with Austria here very soon. War has changed. The advent of widespread use of firearms has radically changed the face of war in Europe. A number of new mercenary companies have been founded, armed with modern weapons and employing modern tactics, while others have been unable to adapt and have fallen from re relevance, there you go, in this new era of sophisticated warfare. Okay. Um, now, there's quite a lot of armies I don't need. Let's meet you guys up here. Okay. We've got the... Oh! The Schwarzegard is no longer available, but we have the Hessian Jäger Corps. Alright. It's fine with me. Get you guys together. Let's build one, two, three, four. Oh, just, I just need, well, there you go. I just need a little bit more money. Memmingen, our brothers and sisters in faith, it is requesting that you come to their aid in the Mecklenburgian succession war against Denmark. If we dishonor this, the main opinion of us changes. Oh, the trust of all Protestant countries minus twenty. Wow, yeah, this is pretty bad. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to accept. So who am I fighting? Uh, okay, yeah, this is not that bad. <laughs> this is really not that bad. Um, it's really just this. This. Denmark still has a relatively large navy, all things considered. Um, but yeah. Um. I have only five heavy ships. Who can I call? Oh, I can call everyone into this. Uh, interesting. I would like to call in someone with a navy. Uh, wait, so hold on. Uh, defensive war. Yeah, I'm going to call you in. I'm going to call in Sweden as well. And, uh, I think Burgundy, too. There you go. And actually Austria as well. There we go. Okay, we've improved relations. Okay, everyone is voting for me now. Why? Why all of a sudden? Uh, because they defended the Empire, maybe? Now everyone is voting for me. This is so strange. I don't know what changed. Oh, is it because I gained diplomatic reputation? Is that possible because I defended? I still have Imperator Romanorum. Hmm, I'm not entirely certain. But yeah, anyway. Still no growth. But we will gain... Uh, some, we will have some growth if we, uh, if we die and get re-elected. Austria. Yeah, Austria, bro. You need to release Baden, bro. Uh, this is gonna be bad. We have Imperial Liberation against Austria. <sighs> Which I really might have to force him. I might, I might have to go to war with Austria. They're just too large. I, ideally, I want... I want one more war with, um, with, like, the Ottomans, maybe, to get Ragusa. Because that's Imperial territory. Um, and maybe one more war against the Commonwealth as well. I'm going to take the Mercantilism. Yeah, this is a pretty big one. A uh, pretty easy one. Recall our diplomat and let's improve relations with outraged countries and my allies. Let's lock that in. Uh, let's actually locate it properly. 
Um, okay, so there's promises being added to the Empire. Why just one, though? So strange. And why this one? Why not this one? <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Okay, there's 60, 50, uh, well, there's a lot of provinces, <laughs> a lot of um, units in this one province, it's actually kind of crazy. Okay, and we can now convert these provinces, let's go ahead and do that as well. There we go. Augsburg has unlawful imperial territory, which I would like returned, and made... Ah, uh, come on. Did I just lose a free city? No, I didn't. I thought I would. But yeah, everyone is voting for me now. Wh why is that, though? Large nation, diplomatic reputation, territorial claims. I don't know what happened with Austria. They must have had some modified that they now lost. Because, uh, yeah, it's kind of strange that this happened. Alright, so this should fall, and then this will be over. So, Mecklenburg, you are what? What's the succession war? Is that a succession war? Uh. Strange. Denmark will cede the uh, promises to Sweden, renounce their claims. Oh! Wait. What? Oh, that- oh, Sweden did a separate piece. Interesting. And the Danish flagship has just been sunk. Oh, that's very weird. And right, we're gonna go back home. Huh. Oh, so we're just gonna be sieging this again? Yeah, this time it's uh, Russia. Alright, well, and I, I guess it, I, I just have to end it here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys.